Hello again. Welcome to another walk. We're here in East London again, in Whitechapel. So, we're just on Fieldgate Street. On the Whitechapel Road. And we're gonna be walking round the back, really, towards Liverpool Street. So, we've got East London here, and then the city, heading down that way. Just on the corner with the Church Bell Foundry, established 1570, which is the same same century as the Magna Carta. That's a pretty old building. So we're just by the Whitechapel Bell Foundry. It's got a little stone set in the brickwork there. I can't quite read it though. So we'll have a little walk around the back. We'll rather walk down the Whitechapel Road. We'll pick it up in a bit. Walking down Plumbers Row, the Fieldgate Street. So there's lots of new buildings and old buildings, as you can imagine. A lot of redevelopment. Have a walk down Mulberry Street. So this is where the old East London Bell Foundry was and you can see four bells up there. We can zoom in on that. I'm not sure if they were cast here, probably not. It's probably done elsewhere now, but. We'll have a walk through the park.
Right, I think we'll cross over here. I've just had my lunch, otherwise I would have went over to Jack the Chipper over there. So we're in the heart of the East End here, all gate. Walking down towards Liverpool Street. The Jack the Ripper tour. I've never done the tour myself, but I have seen some of them online, which are pretty good, it has to be said.
Just thought I'd have a look at this plaque here. Dr. Jimmy Malone, Warden of Toynbee Hall, champion of social reform, lived here. Can't say I've heard of him, it has to be said. But there's a lot of social reform in the East End. In fact, when I heard on one of the Ripper tours that the reason they did the social reforms after the, uh, the Ripper murders, people that visited the East End, the well-to-do people saw the amount of poverty and squalor uh, and decided to do something about it. So out of uh, what you could consider an atrocity, some good did come, uh, apparently. So... We're going to have a look down Petticoat Lane. I we'll can probably nip across. Come quick. Wentworth Street used to be called Petticoat Lane. Can't remember the last time I was down here, a long time ago. Well, I think the rain's starting up again. Sleet and snow, they're saying, is coming in. Just looking at that building over there, 2021. I like the white brickwork. So you've got an example of old brickwork with new brickwork here. Ooh. But in keeping with the old brickwork, I think. Which is there, I think that works really well there. The yellow bricks and the red. Yeah, it looks really good. And then on this side of the road, you've got the existing.
busy around here. So I just thought I'd do a little detour on the way to the station. We're just going past a, a Rushfield Street and the Ten Bells. The Ten Bells was made famous in the film with Johnny Depp from Hell, which is where a lot of the um, the prostitutes used to meet up apparently. So I I know from looking at the repertoires that have been on YouTube and stuff. It's quite a famous pub for that reason. Have a look. Uh, Rushfield Street and the Ten Bells. The Ten Bells was made famous in the film with Johnny Depp from Hell, which is where a lot of the, um, the prostitutes used to meet up, apparently. So I, I know from looking at the repertoires that have been on YouTube and stuff. It's quite a famous pub for that reason. We'll just have a look through here, old Spitalfields Market. So there is a big, a big contrast from this area of East London, and just a little bit up further, Whitechapel. Pretty popular around here, that's for sure. The grocer. That's where the market traders would have been originally. Well, I'll agree to that. Oh, it's come a long way to fields, that's for sure. It used to be quite a run-down area. And now it's very trendy. And this 
Looks like the rain started again as well. Oh, it's very noisy. I've got my brolly, but we're, we're undercover here. A little bit quieter now. There's a lot of work going on here in Spitalfields. And they're doing a good job of it as well. Well, it looks like the snow's about to start as we head into the city. We're in Spittle Square. We're going to cross straight over. Oh, it's definitely getting colder. Well, they did forecast snow and it looks like we're gonna get it. I think I might have to get my brolly out for the last leg of the journey.
Well, winter's definitely come back. So we're in the city of London now, EC. That's what these little posts here with the red stars are. We've left the metropolitan area, going into the city. Cross over here. Right, we're going to end the walk here. It's getting a bit too, too wet and snowy. Uh, we're just going to head up to Liverpool Street Station. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the walk. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you with the next one. Bye for now.